Okay, question number one. Mina has a packet of sweets. She gives half of the sweets to her brother. After eating three sweets, there are five sweets left in the packet. How many sweets were there in the packet initially? So, I'll explain using diagram. This is a packet of sweets. Half is to... To... To Mina. Okay, because she gave half of the sweet to her brother. And another half is for the brother. This is for Mina. Okay. After eating three sweets. Three sweets are, are eaten. eaten eh? Here. There are five sweets left. Here. Okay. How many sweets were there in the packet initially? So, so originally was 5 plus 3. Understand that? Okay, so a packet is called X. Okay, a packet uh, uh, or how many in the packet? How many in a packet X so uh, half X because this is half X okay this is just half X is equals to 5 plus 3 got that okay because the half packet is for Mina. Another half packet is for his brother. So, she has eaten three and still left with five in the in the packet. Okay, so how do we solve this? So, half packet will be equals to eight. So, in order to solve this, we multiply everything with two times two here, times two there. We can cut. So, X will be 16. So, there are how many in the packet initially? 16 sweets in the packet. Okay, look at question number two. In a cross country run organized by a school, the students who completed the run within an hour would obtain two points for their team. A total of 280 students managed to obtain the point. The number of boys who obtained the points was, uh, was 60 more than the number of girls. How many points did the girls obtain during the cross-country run? Okay, there are two types here. First is boy. And second is girl. And uh, how many? We just write down X and Y. And from the info, it says here, a total of 280 students managed to obtain the point. So, X plus Y is 280. And then, the second info is the number of boys who obtained the point was 60 more than the number of girls. Okay, 60 more. Okay, uh, which one is more and which one is less? Okay, so boys are more than girls. So, the girls, we, if we add with 60, then it, it will be equals to, to the number of X. Okay? The girl's number, if we plus 60, will be equal to the number of boy. So, X is Y plus 60. So, here, the best is using element, a substitution method. We just replace this here. So, we are going to get uh, the X we replace with Y plus 60. So, we say Y plus 60 plus y will be equals to 280. 
you move 60 to the other side, we have y plus y equal 2y equals to 280 minus 60, which is 220. So y is 220 over 2, which is 110. So that is the number of girls. And how about number of boys? So at uh, number of boys will be just replace y as 110. 110 plus 60. So we have 170. So 170 and one, uh, 110 will equal to 280. And then the number of boys are 60 more than the number of girls. Okay? So this is the okay. So what is the question? Okay, that is not the question. Okay, uh, so the real answer is how many points did the girls obtain during the cross country? Because we have hundred and ten girls completed, so hundred and ten times two, which is two hundred and twenty points obtained by the girls for for the group. Right? Okay, look at question number T, uh, number three. The total savings of Ella and Zahida was RM2000. So there are two percent. Is there any indication that the, the money that they have are related? No. Okay, the total saving, the total of Ella and Zahida was RM2000. So we should allocate an algebra to for for example how much money that Ella has x and how much money that Zahida has y and then the the info is that the total is 2000 so we could say x plus y equals to 2000 that is one info Elad and Zahida each donated 1 over 4 and 1 over 5 of their totals of their, their saving to an old folks home. They donated 1 over 4 and 1 over 5. So, it is not a complete info yet. The total amount donated by them was 440. Okay, so when you multiply 1 over 4 with x and 1 over 5 multiplied by y, the total is 440. So the second info that you should get here is 1 over 4x plus 1 over 5y equals to 440. Okay, so how to solve that? Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to erase this. How to solve this equation? I'm going to show you both ways. One is using substitution. How to use substitution? For any of these two ways, substitution or elimination, I personally don't like fraction. I want to use only what? Only uh, whole numbers. I don't want fraction. So, we eliminate the fraction. How to eliminate fraction? If this is over 4 and this is over 5, you multiply by 20. How do I know it's for, uh, 20? So, in other words, multiply by 20 is you are multiply by 4 here and multiply by 5 here. Okay? But you have to understand, if you multiply here by 4, you have to multiply this side by 4, and 4, 4, 0 also have to be multiplied by 4. And since you multiply by 5 here, you have also to multiply by 5 here, and you have to also multiply by 5 there. So you have, you can cut now. So you have what? 5x plus 4y equals to an amount which I do not know. 
that is 440 times 4 times 5, which is 8,800. Okay, so I'm going to let uh, this two equation, x plus y equals to 2,000, and the other info is 5x plus 4y equals to 8,800. Okay, so as I said, using substitution, okay, do we, uh, so substitution is the most important because you might have to, but you have to know this in order to take advent letter in form 4, okay. So, substitution means you have to take one of the algebra and make it into subject. Okay, for example, this, I make x into subject. So, x is 2000 minus y. So, what will I do with this? I will replace this, thing, this value in the other equation where x is because the subject is x. So, we get 5 bracket 2000 minus y plus 4y equals to 8,800. So you multiply, you get 1,000 or 10,000 minus 5y plus 4y equals to 8,800. So now what you have left is just value of y. So, we could calculate this. Negative 5 plus 4 will be negative 1. Negative 1y one is equal to 8800 minus 10,000, which is negative 1200. So, y is negative 1200 over negative 1, which is 1200. So, Zahida's money uh, was RM. 1,200 um, and then the value of x you take this in, you substitute that value here so you could have x is equals to 2,000 minus y minus 1 to 0, 0 equals to 800 but that is not the question yeah this is part of the working okay you have the original amount so sometimes the original amount is the question what was the original amount for Zahida 1200 when what was the uh, original amount that Ella has 800 okay but that is not the answer to this question that is what are the balances of Ella's and Zahida's saving now okay so because they donated 1 over 4 and 1 over 5. So, Ella, what Ella has, because she donated 1 over 4 of her money, so you could multiply 1 over 4 with 800, and then minus. Or better still, you multiply 3 over 4 times 800, because she donated 1 over 4, she has left in fraction for. 3 over 4. So, she still have 600. And Zahida's, in Zahida's case, she donated 1 over 5. She has left, okay, you could do the same thing. 1 over 5 times 1, 2, 0, 0. After that, 1, 2, 0, 0 minus, uh, minus whatever amount. But better still, 4 over 5 times 1, 2, 0, 0, which is 960. Okay, that is the working using substitution. How about elimination? Okay, we are talking about this. Okay. You, uh, okay, we are not going to start from the very beginning. So, we are taking this. Okay? So, whatever pattern it is, I don't like to have fraction in the equation. 
So what I'll do now? Okay, so in order to use uh, elimination, you have to multiply all the first equation with either 4 or 5, depending on which of the algebra you want to eliminate. For example, I multiply this by 5. So multiply 5, 5 times x is 5x plus 5. 5y equals to 10,000. And this one, you just rewrite it below. And then, since we have 5x and 5x, we eliminate the x minus it. Okay? So, what if we minus here, we have to minus that. Okay? And then, every one of that. So, we get y is 1, 2, 0, 0. It looks uh, uh, easier, okay? It looks easier in this case, but you have to know this because you are going to have patterns which are complicated. Right, so then, just for example, I take from the first equation, I replace y as 1, 2, 0, 0. So we say x plus 1, 2, 0, 0 equals to 2,000. And then x is 2,000 minus... 1,200, we come Rn, 800. Okay? And then the final step will be the same thing here. You have to multiply 3 over 4 with x, and then multiply 5 over 4 with 1200 uh, 1, 0, in order to find the, the real answer or the yeah, actual answer to the question. Right? Okay, number 4. And... An online dealer sells two types of clothes, baju kurung and baju kebaya. The profit obtained from a baju kurung is RM10 less than the profit obtained from a baju kebaya. Take note of this first. We have two types of baju. First is kurung. Second is kebaya. And then the profit from baju kurung is RM10 less. Okay, so they are related. If the baju kebaya is X, this is X minus 10. Because it's 10 ringgit less. This is, so you write down profit. Okay. In terms of profit, RM10 and RMX. Uh, no, RMX and RMX minus 10. He earns a profit of RM275 from the sale of 5 baju kurung. Okay. When he sold 5 baju kurung, this is how many? And then, 8 baju kebaya. The total profit or the, yeah, the total profit is... 275 275 hmm. So we could not create equation from here because We are not told how much profit uh, From one baju kurung and one baju kebaya but we are told if you the uh, if this person an online dealer sold five baju kurung and eight baju kebaya she or he got an M Uh, RM275 Okay, so it's like this I could write X minus 10 and X But I will not be able to To create equation But if let's say I write here x and y Then I could say y is x plus 10 Why is it x plus 10? Because the amount from baju ke baju is RM10 more or less for baju kurun than baju ke baju. So it means baju ke baju is x plus 10 
Okay? Uh, so that is uh, uh, so, so then we can uh, have another one equation. Okay? Um, sometimes we don't realize that. So, and again, if we multiply 5 with x and 8 with y, we get 275. So we see 5x plus 8y is 275. So using a uh, substitution, okay, why I use substitution? Substitution. Because this is already a subject. Y is equal to x plus 10. So I just use substitution. I replace x plus 10 where y is not where x at y because this is y so you replace where y is so we have 5x plus 8 bracket x plus 10 is equal to 275 so 5x plus 8x that is 8 plus x, times x and 8 times 10 will be 80 so equals to 275 so we have here um, all together 13x equals to 275 minus 80 so you should find what is the value of 275 minus 80 which is 195 so the value of 13x is 195 so x is 195 divided by 13 which is 15 okay so he got profit of 15 ringgit for baju kuro and why since we have here just replace the x with 15 so 15 plus 10 is 25 so is that is it the question asking for how much that is made profit from baju so uh, if he sell sell one baju kurung and one baju kebaya uh, look at the question again um so the question is what is his profit in the second week okay so profit in the okay in the second week he sell nine baju kurung and seven baju kebaya okay so nine baju kurung so nine baju kurung Kurung is 15 plus uh, how many baju kebaya and 7 baju kebaya and each baju kebaya will make profit of 25 so 9 times 15 plus 7 times 25 will be RM 300 and Okay, so that is the answer to the question. Okay, so this is the working to find the value of the algebra that we created in order to solve this equation. Okay. Okay, question number five. The perimeter of a rectangle is 56 centimeter. When its length is reduced by 2 cm and its width is increased by 4 cm, a square is formed. Okay, so if we should draw a rectangle. So the length and the width are not known. What is important is 2x plus 2y will be equal to 56. Mm -hmm. Why 2x and 2y? Because this is also x, this is also y. x plus y plus x plus y. So we have 2x plus 2y. And usually when you have equation that you could divide simplify, uh, you should divide. Okay, divide by 2. Every one of them, you should get x plus y equals to 28. And what is the other info? When its length is reduced by 2 and its width is increased by 4, uh, a square is formed. 
a square is formed when its length is reduced by 2. Reduced by 2 means minus 2. And the width is increased by 4. So y plus 4. A square is formed. A square means the length of the side are all equal. So x minus 2 is equal to y plus 4. So in this case, uh, maybe I just move that negative 2. Okay, the other side, y plus 4 plus 2. We have y plus 6. So that y plus 6, I will replace here. So we have x plus y. y is Oh, okay, this is my bad, huh? Right. So actually, I, I have y plus 6. I should replace it here. Not there at the position of y, at the position of x, okay? So, y plus 6 plus y equals to 28. So, y plus y will be 2y will be 28 minus 6 will be 22. So, the value of y will be 22 divided by 2, which is 11. So, the value of y is 11 cm. And then x, you just replace x, uh, y as, uh, as 11. So, x is 11 plus 6. So, x is 17. Okay, and what is the question? Uh, okay, what is the area of the rectangle? Okay, so in order to know the area of rectangle, we should replace it. The width as uh, y is 11 and the x is 17. Okay? So, area is length times width. So, 17 times 11. So, equals to... One hundred eighty-seven, and the unit is okay because all these are in centimeter. This is centimeter square because centimeter times centimeter. Okay. Okay. Question number six. The incomplete receipt shows the expenses of Lisa and Kaylin at Sedap Restaurant. The price of a cup of coffee is RM1 more than the price of a piece of curry puff. Okay. There are two types. Um, there is a coffee and curry puff. Coffee and curry puff. Okay, so uh, we have the incomplete receipt. So the price of curry uh, 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 of coffee we could write as x. So the curry puff is y, and it says here the price of a car, uh, a cup of coffee is rm one more than the price of a, a piece of curry puff. So this is more than this. So, we could write x is equals y plus 1. This is rm x eh? and rm y. So, plus 1, then you get the, uh, what is the price of the coffee is hi uh, higher than curry puff. So, then, if, They had two coffee, two cup of coffee, and four of curry puff. They have to pay RM36. 36 ringgit. Uh, oh, bukan 36, uh, 6 ringgit. Okay, RM6.8. So, for this price, you have to multiply two with the, the, the amount of 
or the price of a cu uh, of cup of coffee and 4 you multiply by y then you get 6.8 so since this is x equals to y plus 1 we are going to use substitution if we have learned substitution and we are not going to use elimination it's okay but if you know how to do elimination but you do not know how to do using substitution it will be a problem okay so you have to know basically at least one of this way so you replace x uh, y plus one where x is so you have two bracket y plus one plus four y equals six point eight so we have two y plus two plus four y equals six point eight and to solve this, 2y and 4y, we get 6y, which is equal to 6.8 minus 2. So the value of 6y is 4.8. So y is 4.8 divided by 6, which is 0 0.8. So the current path each costs 80 cents or 0 0.8. Huh? 0 0.8, uh, Rm 0 0.8. So the value of X or cup of coffee is uh, 0 0.8 plus 1 will be 1.8. So is that the question? Yes. What are the prices of a cup of coffee? So a uh, cup of coffee, cup of coffee is RM, RM 1.8. And the uh, curry puff will be cost you curry puff cost you 80 cents each or in RM term is 0 0.8.